Okay, I know it's definitely been a long time since I have done any videos with my Saturn. Uh, you know, I've just been driving it to and from work. And as it stands, I wound up finally killing the engine in mine. Uh, what you're looking at is a replacement engine. Uh, the replacement engine I picked up had a bad head gasket. All right, as you can see, I have a new gasket installed. We're going to hope that doesn't leak. But the engine's still mostly stripped. All right, now the reason I did that is there's something I wanted to touch base on because it's new to me as well. This is my first attempt with a dual overhead cam engine. As you can see, you have your intake cam, your exhaust cam. All right. The timing system is actually pretty complex. Now with Saturn, it kind of made it easy. It's going to vary on different engines, but what you're going to be looking for, all right, you got that little divot there, that one there on the exhaust, and then you have the alignment pins, and you'll notice there's a hole in the cylinder head behind these, okay? The purpose of these marks, all right, is so you can set the correct timing on the engine before you install it and crank it over at the starter. Now the reason for this is the Saturn twin cam engine, like most dual overhead cam or overhead cam engines in general, is what's called an interference design. That means if the cam shafts are opening the valves at the wrong time, the pistons will hit the valves and cause internal damage to the engine and you'll wind up rebuilding the whole engine. Uh, this video is just a real quick Rule of thumb, if you get into this project, what you're going to want to check before reassembling your engine and putting it in your car, all right? For all intents and purposes, it can be done with a ratchet. There's usually enough oil left in the engine for all the more we're going to turn it that you're not going to cause any wear on the bearings or the cams, all right? But what you want to do, all right, you get your ratchet on to your harmonic balancer bolt for your crankshaft and you literally just turn the engine over by hand all right now the only resistance that you should feel should be the compression of the cylinders all right if your camshafts are not timed properly you will feel a bind and this bolt will actually start to tighten into the crankshaft all right naturally when you're done cranking it over and checking it you want to return all your timing marks to the correct position now with a dual overhead cam or an engine in general you only ever want to turn the crankshaft clockwise you'll notice the tensioner assembly is self-adjusting. All right, so once everything's installed and set, it'll adjust the slack accordingly. Okay. And there you go. All of our timing marks are back in the correct position. This engine's now ready to be reassembled with the timing cover and the oil pan, manifolds, and ready to be swapped into the vehicle. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. I thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And if you're looking for an easy engine to learn how to do this, pick up an old Saturn. I paid 200 bucks for my SC2. They're cheap, and because of the pistons, you almost always have to rebuild the engine. Thank you, and have a great day.